space. Some of you might think space is irrelevant and boring, and I was the same way until my junior year, when my physics teacher completely changed my perspective. I'm here today to hopefully do the same. I want to take all of you on a journey through space, exploring exoplanets, black holes, and beyond, because I think these topics can help us answer some of the biggest questions we have today. So, question one, are we alone in the universe? I think Earth-like exoplanets might have the answer. These planets are fascinating because they orbit stars outside of our solar system, but they have characteristics similar to Earth. Therefore, they have the possibilities of hosting life. Not one, but seven. Seven planets were discovered just last week, and this system is called the TRAPPIST-1 system. So what's the big deal? Well, all seven of these planets lie in the Goldilocks zone of their uh, solar system, meaning they're at the perfect distance such that it's not too hot or too cold. Therefore, there's a possibility of water, therefore life. If you think about it, maybe one of these seven planets actually has life. Earth is just one planet in our, Go one planet in our Goldilocks system, and it has life. So the fact that there's seven is very promising. Another planet I find fascinating is Proxima Centauri b. This planet is only 4.22 light years away, which in the grand scheme of things is not a big number. Scientists can actually observe and study this planet and hopefully answer the question one day, are we alone in the universe? Question two, do black holes hold the mysteries of the universe? Now I find black holes fascinating because we don't know much about them. They're just an area in space where gravitational waves are so strong that nothing can escape them, not even light. So what's the big deal? Well, how many of you have ever wondered how the universe functions, how it began? I think black holes may hold this answer. Today we have two rule books that explain how the universe functions. General relativity, the study of large, which explains why galaxies collide, why space is curved, and so on. And quantum mechanics, the study of small, which explains why electrons, particles, atoms interact. We have gravity. It's the reason when I drop this pen, it falls to the ground. If we want to understand how the universe functions, though, we need to understand how gravity works everywhere. But the problem is, we don't. We don't understand how gravity works on small scales. Our two rule books do not understand how gravity works at the singularity of a black hole, an infinitely small one-dimensional point with infinite mass and infinite density. However, if we study the singularity of a black hole, we could possibly unite our two rule books into one, creating a theory of everything, a theory that links all physical aspects of the universe. I also think the name black hole is misleading. When we think of it, we think of darkness and nothingness, but I think it's quite the opposite. Our universe began from a singularity and expanded to the universe we know today. Black holes have a singularity. If we study the singularity, we could figure out how the universe actually came to be. To me, a black hole is more of an information hole. It contains the most important information, the deepest, darkest secrets of the universe and how it all began. So this is Earth, the little white dot surrounded by darkness, we know as space. We don't know much that's out there. 70% of the universe about is something called dark energy and dark matter, which we know nothing about. We don't know what black holes are. We don't know what wormholes are. We don't know why the universe expands. We don't know what gravity is. We don't know how it was created or how it all began. We don't know anything. The point I'm trying to get across here is that space is important. We need people to lead the forefront in space travel because only then can we answer some of the biggest questions that plague us today? Thank you.